during the past few days I had the chance to explore Malaysia's pulsing capital Kuala Lumpur, also known as KL. The city center is certainly worth a visit, but walking up all the stairs to the infamous Batu Caves and being rewarded with a lovely view over the KL metropolitan area was just breathtaking. But now it's time to leave KL behind and try out Thai Airways Boeing 787-9 which will wait with an unwanted surprise for me. I hope you are as excited as I am, so let's fly to Thailand. Hey folks and beautiful good day from Kuala Lumpur International Airport. Today I'll be flying to my favorite city in Southeast Asia, Bangkok, on board a Thai Airways Boeing 787-9 in economy class. Honestly, I do have rather high expectations on the upcoming flight and I'm really looking forward to find out if Thai Airways is able to fulfill them. So please make sure to have your seatbelts fastened, lean back and enjoy the upcoming video with me. Cheers! Well, Kuala Lumpur Airport is basically divided into two terminal buildings named CLIA 1 and CLIA 2. CLIA stands for Kuala Lumpur International Airport. CLIA 2 is mostly used by budget airlines like AirAsia, Vietjet Air or Jetstar Pacific, while CLIA 1, which we are about to enter now, is home to so-called premium airlines like Malaysia Airlines, Singapore Airlines and most importantly for today's video, Thai Airways. CLIA was opened back in 1998 and served over 62 million passengers in 2019, making it the 23rd largest airport worldwide in terms of passenger numbers. Today I will be on board Thai Airways flight TG416 to Bangkok leaving at 1.20 pm from gate C3. The check-in is located at concourse F to my left. All right, the check-in is finally done and I was actually assigned to a new seat, which is 59A, so in the very back of the cabin. But well, still a window seat. Um, I don't know the exact reason for this because initially I um, pre-selected a seat like in row 40, I believe, 40 or 45 more or less in this area. Um, but well, it was changed now, not too bad for me. Um, the staff was, well, pretty nice. I have to say they were uh, really, really kind, uh, but nothing too special as I already checked in online and just dropped off my bag as uh, when you're flying with Thai Airways, you always have, I guess, 20 kilograms um, baggage allowance for free, which is quite cool, obviously. But enough on that, let's head right through the immigration control and afterwards through the security control in order to get to today's gate. Between the check-in concourses and the immigration control, you can find this souvenir shop, which is rather expensive, but certainly helpful if you forgot to buy a gift for your beloved ones in the city center of KL. Right. Turned out that my gate C3 is located in the satellite terminal of uh, Kuala Lumpur Airport Terminal 1, which is reachable by a shuttle train that is leaving right in front of me. Honestly, things are getting a bit close now as the immigration control took way longer as expected and my flight is now leaving like in 40 minutes, I guess. But at least the gate is closing 10 minutes before departure, so I should still have some time um, to get there. You get an impressive view over some parts of the apron from the shuttle train. I'm just kind of confused by the fact that there are not too many planes around at the moment. At least I finally got to see Etihad's lovely Boeing 787 Manchester City special livery. By the way, the airport holding company is currently planning to replace this shuttle train with a new one, offering an even higher capacity in 2025. Alright, finally made it to the satellite terminal and I think that I have already spotted gate C3 with uh, my Thai Airways 787 from the shuttle train. So it shouldn't be too far away, just a few meters, I guess. Oh yeah, down there it is already. Good for me, as I'm late. As I... All right, I finally made it through the security control all the way to my gate C3. And strangely, the boarding process has not started yet, even though my flight is scheduled to leave in 15 minutes so we will probably leave Bangkok with a small delay but anyway I do have an impressive view on the aircraft from here on today's Boeing 787 as you can probably see so let's head right inside and believe it or not but I'm really looking forward to show you guys the cabin interior etc this is by the way also my very first time flying Thai Airways 
By the way, today's Boeing 787-9 was produced in Everett and delivered directly to Thai Airways in September 2017, making it the first Boeing 787 series aircraft to be delivered to Thai Airways. It features 30 seats in a 1-to-1 configured business class and 268 seats in a 3 configured economy class. But anyway, the boarding process has finally started, so let's get my boarding pass scanned. Finally inside the jet bridge. Uh, boarding started about 30 minutes delayed and I'm now really looking forward to head inside this beauty. I made it inside the cabin. So cool. All right, the check-in staff must have really liked me because I got the worst seat in the entire plane, probably. Because I am seated in row 59, which is obviously missing a window. Well, did absolutely not expect this and, um, well, now I'm just trying to make the very best out of it and uh, try to get a nice departure view anyway, maybe, with the uh, window in front of me will probably be kind of difficult. As you can see here, the leg room is quite generous, although there is a magazine compartment in front of my legs. Furthermore, the seat is equipped with a footrest, which is becoming rare these days, but I honestly never use them. The seat is also equipped with a foldable table with a dedicated cup holder, as well as an IFE monitor featuring a USB power outlet. The IFE system can be controlled with this remote controller, but we will take a closer look at that once we are airborne. But let's finally take a quick look through the rear cabin of today's Boeing 787-9. All right, boarding is finished. Um, we already started taxiing to the one way and I asked the crew one more time if they may have another window seat available for me so I can film the departure etc for you guys. But um, they said that the flight is fully booked. There are uh, no no-shows at all. So things are looking pretty bad being honest. But anyway, I must admit that the crew is quite nice, doing a good job so far, and we are now about to line up the runway, so let's double check that my seatbelt is securely fastened. Um, the cabin was also secured by the cabin crew, as always before departure, so we should be all set now for our flight to Bangkok. We are finally airborne and I am really really sorry for the bad view outside during takeoff. I hope to get this fixed um, before landings. However, I have to say that I am really really looking forward to finally be in Bangkok again. As I told you guys beforehand already, Bangkok is my favorite city in Southeast Asia and I just can't wait to visit for example the Khao San Road in the evening or the lovely night markets and especially also the floating markets which can be found around the city. <sighs> I'm so glad, believe me. 
but now I'm waiting for the onboard service to finally start and in the meantime I would say that we will take a closer look at today's cabin interior. Firstly, both a pair of on-ear headphones as well as a comfy purple pillow have already been placed on the seats before boarding. The seat pocket in front features a safety card, which has probably already seen better days, as well as a sick bag. The seat comes with an orange and purple fabric cover and features a flexible, comfy headrest. Finally, the passenger service unit above my head features both reading lights and fresh air nozzles. Alright, 30 minutes into the flight, the onboard service finally started and I can already tell you guys that this meal looks amazing, so let's check it out. Well, Thai Airways serves a full meal on all their flights, which is just impressive. On today's flight I got served some chili marinated chicken with rice and vegetables as a main, among a lime chicken salad as well as a crumble cake for dessert. Last but not least, a warm bread roll and a bottle of water also awaited me on the tray. Unfortunately, however, the meal comes with plastic instead of wooden or even metal cutlery. But having in mind that this flight takes just over two hours, I am really amazed by both the quantity and the quality of this meal. So let's give the chili marinated chicken a try first. That looks just amazing, doesn't it? So let's finally give it a try. They somehow made it that the chicken is still very tender, very, very soft and juicy. Amazing. And not as spicy as I expected it to be, as they announced it as chili chicken. But, you know, or maybe I'm also just getting used to the normal Thai cuisine. Who knows? Next comes the chicken salad. That one's actually even better than the main dish. Lovely. And finally, let's give the dessert a try. It's also not too bad. Once all meals have been served, the crew came around and started the beverage service. And believe it or not, but I went for a beer, which I normally never do. Okay, attention, sarcasm. Um, I can serve this Singa beer, which is a traditional Thai beer, so let's give it a try and cheers on today's cabin crew that is still doing a lovely job. Amazing. As already shown in the very beginning of this video, Thai Airways has equipped their Boeing 787 fleet with IFE monitors in the headrest of the front seat. Both the touch sensitivity and the screen brightness are decent, especially when compared to the IFE on my last Malaysia Airlines A330 flight. If you have not watched the video yet, make sure to check it out. But anyway, Thai Airways offers a fairly good variety of movies and TV shows as well as a live in-flight map and as you can see we are slowly getting closer to our final destination, Bangkok. Alright, we are now finally approaching Bangkok, the flaps are already set, the gear is also down, so let's just hope that we will have a nice landing there and, well, who knows, maybe I'm now able to film the landing for you guys. Alright, time to say goodbye to my, well, more or less beloved seat 59A and let's head right outside. Ladies and gents, welcome to Bangkok BKK Airport. Um, I can only repeat that today's crew was absolutely lovely. I had some uh, chit chat with them now as I left the plane. They're super cool. They really elevated this flight up until the next level, even though I had a bad seat, etc. Furthermore, I had a lovely woman sitting right next to me on the middle seat and she is going on a tour to Pakistan, Islamabad, with a group of, I guess, 20 people. 
So if you watch this video, as she also wrote down my channel name, as she was like wondering uh, why I'm filming all the time. Um, so if you see this video, I wish you all the best. It was a pleasure to fly with you. Um, enjoy your trip to Pakistan. Although this video will probably be published when you're already back in Malaysia. So finally, thank you guys for coming along to today's trip report. Once again, I had a lovely seat with a lovely crew. They were absolutely fantastic, lovely seat neighbors. Um, the onboard service was also more than on point, so I'm quite satisfied. Although my seat was definitely not top notch and not what I expected it to be. I will now take a train to the city center of Bangkok. And as you can probably hear in my voice, I am really excited to be finally back in Thailand, in Bangkok, after I guess five or six months. So once again, thank you guys for coming along to today's report. Wishing you all the best as always. Stay safe and cheers.